So guys, you joined me on a bicycle. Who'd have thought you would ever see me on a bicycle? You joined me on a bicycle, mid-delivery, on Uber Eats, where I'm going to be talking you guys through whether or not Uber Eats is a viable solution for making a living. I've been doing Uber Eats for about eight or nine days now on the trot and wanted to kind of talk you guys through my earnings, what hours I work, if you see the money I'm making and you feel like you want to give it a go, I'll let you know how much it costs to get to this point. So stay tuned through the rest of the video where you'll see me picking up orders, delivering orders, seeing what else I see in the beautiful city of Manchester. So I did want to take you guys through a journey from start to finish but unfortunately before I even recorded my intro I got a delivery just as I left the house so I couldn't show you guys that one but I am on the way to that delivery right now I've got 15 minutes left another 2.3 miles and the delivery was paying something like £5.50 and it's not something that I would usually accept I think £5 to cycle about almost three miles isn't worth it but it was going in the general direction from my house to the city centre so for that reason I just thought all right it's only five pound but I'm going in that general direction anyway as you can see we're just close by to Deansgate we are going towards Salford but going from Salford to the city centre isn't a big task just squeeze past you there mate yeah, cheers pal appreciate it so we are approximately four minutes away from our first drop off of the day and I need to go over this bridge but well, as you can see it's a bit annoying to get your bike through so we are just cycling alongside the river Irwell nice little cycle route this is called cycle route 6 which is like a national cycle route cheers guys thank you and obviously a lot of these cycle routes are open to the public for walking as well so a lot of them will use these routes to walk their dogs so you just got to be a bit mindful of that when you are cycling around here so we are just approaching our first customer Connor how you doing Connor you all right That's your food. Thank you. Enjoy. So the last trip, which is what we just done, was five pound fifty three. We started it at seventeen twenty eight. It's now seventeen fifty eight. And so between twenty five past five and pretty much six o'clock, we've made that much money. Let's go back into the city centre and see how we get on. Following that delivery, we're back on our way to where we were originally meant to go, which is Manchester city centre so whilst we're on our way back to the city centre let's talk about a big part of this video which is the startup costs the biggest one is obviously the bicycle so the story behind this bicycle is that I actually bought it six or seven months ago and you might think why did you buy a bike six or seven months ago to do deliveries so yeah I did buy the bike to do deliveries but only started doing deliveries eight or nine days ago and the reason for that is you can't actually get onto any delivery apps straight away now the main ones I'm talking about is Deliveroo, Just Eat, Uber Eats all of these are impossible to actually get on right now in Manchester because there's simply far too many riders so I bought this bike and I paid £650 for it and then I was like oh my god I can't get onto any delivery apps and I did think about selling it as well until it occurred to me and this is what I actually had to do you can rent other people's accounts so then I started hunting for somebody's account eventually I found an Uber account which I was allowed to rent 
and the first price that was on it was £55 a week so £220 a month just to actually have the account to start making deliveries I thought that's crazy because first of all I've got a day job so I'm only going to be working evenings and weekends and it's going to be I'm going to be left with hardly anything if I'm having to shell out £220 a month if I'm only doing four hours each evening and maybe six to eight hours on the weekend and we came to the agreement of £35 a week I thought okay that's better it's not great but at least it gets me on the bike out riding actually making some money with a little bit of profit after it so that's my two main startup costs I've paid £650 for the bike and I'm renting the Uber account for £35 a week now in this video obviously we're going to find out whether it's worth it or not and I'm going to show you what I make today other than that the delivery bag cost me £20 for a brand new bag my helmet cost about £11 off Amazon my phone holder was £15 apart from having to charge my battery every night there's no other real ongoing costs but we have finally reached the city centre the time is exactly quarter past six so 50 minutes since I logged on and I've done one delivery we're in Exchange Square down the tram lines and we're gonna see what we can get let's go down Market Street it's always eventful going down Market Street Okay, the sound of money, £6.41 to Burroughs Avenue, let's see where that is, got to be quick before it expires, that's a 29 minute, 5.1 miles for £6.41, you can be rest assured I am not that desperate for money, so we'll just let that delivery go by and hopefully we can get something better soon okay so as soon as I just declined that one I got £7.47 for somewhere I call Addison Cres 20 minutes now I will be doing that one so we'll accept that and we'll make our way to Sainsbury's so we've just picked that order up and we're going to start the delivery and it says 16 minutes 18 minutes on Google Maps so as you guys just seen I got into Manchester City Centre and I got an order from Taco Bell to a location that was 5.1 miles away at a 29 minute cycle for £6.41 or something declined that and immediately get £7.50 for an order three miles away now, I don't know what is going through Uber Eats' mind I don't think even £7.50 is that great for three miles but for them to have somebody want to travel 5.1 miles for a measly £6 something bear in mind that's 5.1 miles one way that's not round trip that's 5.1 miles to the deliverer's to the receiver's address and then you've got to do another 5.1 miles back into the city centre which is the only place you're going to make any money so on my first two or three days I was literally accepting anything and everything that was come through but I didn't really know what was going on I couldn't really gauge what's a good rate and what's not a good rate as I've done more and more deliveries 
I am starting to kind of gauge what's a bit of a violation in terms of reward for the work done and what's okay and what's really good so if you guys are planning on starting something like this you've got to be it just comes with time you've got to experience the bad deliveries to understand what a bad delivery is and if it was me five or six days ago I would have definitely accepted that six pound order and I would be like oh wow six pound and then I'd have got on my bike and about 15 minutes later I'd be like what the heck I'm not even halfway It has actually started raining as well so I guess you could factor that into your startup costs a good waterproof coat some waterproof pants another thing the sat nav just then didn't tell me to turn right to come down this road but I did because I know that it's very cycle friendly just up ahead which I'm going to show you guys so instead of me having to go around roundabouts and have to fight for a space on the road with the cars so this is what I'm talking about really really good cycle routes where you're not having to worry about cars or pedestrians you can just go about your business go as fast as you want I just got a phone call from the customer she says she's locked in the house and can I deliver the food through the window I said absolutely of course I can deliver the food through the window if you're locked in the house so we're just approaching the recipient's address so we've just delivered that order and we got £7.47 so we've done two orders now one at around £5.50 and one at £7.47 so we're on exactly £13 and I have been online for one hour and 25 minutes that kind of gives you an indication of where we're up to at the moment 13 pound one hour 25 cycled let's look at the tripometer we've cycled 12.4 miles 10 minutes since we last spoke on back in the city centre we we're on portland street heading towards chinatown So we are just approaching Chinatown. Cheers, pal. <laughs> Always get hungry whenever I'm riding around Chinatown. So busy. Right, we didn't ping off anything riding through Chinatown so I'm gonna go to Piccadilly Gardens and hopefully Burger King, Franco Manca, something like that could need my services just approaching Franco Manca on the left and also Burger King And we are in Piccadilly Gardens. We'll go down Market Street again because that's where we got our last two orders. The £6 one that I declined and the £7 one that I accepted. Coming to the end of the main Market Street and nothing's really pinging off. Bit of a quiet Tuesday afternoon. Don't fancy going home having made 13 quid but this rate that's what it's looking like it's gonna have to be we'll go to St Anne's Square there's a McDonald's there which you can sometimes ping a delivery off if you're quite close to it another thing about the driver community the rider community around Manchester everyone's really friendly like a lot of the times when you need to use the loo say for example I would use the loo in McDonald's I just ask the driver to mind my bike or he would ask me to mind his and everyone's quite happy to do that and you feel a sense of community with the other riders I didn't understand why the waiting 
times to get onto a delivery rider app or an Uber Eats delivery app was so long but it's times like this and you're just seeing rider after rider and just no one's getting anything to do you just realize this is probably why they've probably hired way too many riders well, and now they're just kind of putting a halt to it all until everything kind of calms down and people find other jobs to do No problem, it's alright. You have more? Okay, no problem. Yeah, we, no, no, we, uh, you have to order. Wait here. Look in there. You think I'll get the order? I think we only have an order more. I've not, I haven't got anything yet. You have order? I don't have an order. Yeah, yeah, take it. One minute. Wait here, it will come. I see. Two Definitely. Order. Yeah, you can one order here. Okay. Here. Okay, okay, okay. Where are you from? Manchester. No, one hundred. <laughs> Kashmir. Kashmir, Pakistan. What about you? Iraq. Iraq? Yeah. Mashallah. When did you come to the UK? Five years. Yeah. Five years? You? I was born here. Nice. That's why when you asked me, I said Manchester. <laughs> What's your name? I think it's maybe Arabic. Uh, yeah, you never know. Guy, guy with a beard, you don't know. Yeah. My name is Ahmed. Do you know? Uber Eats. Huh? Uber Eats. Uber nice? No. Doing Just Eat? No, no. Do you know? You're doing delivery? Yeah. Your bag is still open. Yalla, yalla. Your bag is open. Your bag is open. Hi, pal, you alright? I haven't got one yet, but have you got stuff waiting for Uber Eats? You got nothing waiting for you there, like nothing already made? Deliveries, Only deliveries, no worries pal. Alright. No order, no order. No, order. Yeah, no, you. <laughs> no problem, I had a nice chat with you. The chat is worth more than the than the orders. Ahmed, good luck, yeah? See you later. So that was Ahmed, he tried to bust me. He said he's seen that they've got loads of food waiting to be delivered. So I said wait there and I'll definitely get an order. But Unfortunately, Rudy's, I don't think they're on Uber Eats, they're only on Deliveroo. So bless Ahmed, he tried to he tried to help me out, but he didn't know what app I was working. This is what I mean about the rider community. Everyone's out here to help each other. It's not like a situation of, oh, uh, he could have easily went and delivered that order and came back here himself and got it himself kind of thing, instead of telling me. The community around Manchester, it's really good. You can have some nice conversations with people. I've met some really nice people and I've only been working for like a, a week, a week and a half. So definitely a benefit to the job. But we're all here to make money. We're not here to make friends. Friends are nice when you're making money, but when you're not making any money, who cares? All right, guys, let's find somewhere nice to sit down and analyze how much money we didn't make. So the time was two hours and nine minutes altogether. Right, let's see. Last trip 747. Today 13 pound, two trips completed. Weekly summary. So Monday 25 pounds and 11 pence. That today I made 13 pounds from two trips. We'll do the rest of the week. We'll work every day this week seeing that we've been online for two hours and 10 minutes um, and we've made 13 pounds so yesterday i was online for maybe about three hours so that was a lot better in terms of an hourly rate but today six pound fifty an hour it's not looking that great is it and see where we get with that so stay tuned for tomorrow's episode hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a like subscribing would also really help comment any kind of suggestions you might have there'll also be a video where i go through my bike let you guys know like in terms of speed how it works the different modes on it so lots of things planned for this channel so 
hopefully you guys can subscribe and stay on this journey with me and I'll catch you at the next one.